Hey, what is going on guys? It's Most Remoto. In today's video, I'm gonna be cleaning the chain on my T-dubs, but before I clean it, I wanna give the bike a good wash because it's a little bit dirty and I don't wanna clean the chain and have a dirty bike. So I'm gonna clean it first and then we'll head over to the chain. The owner's manual does recommend lubricating the chain after every time your bike has been washed and after every time you ride in the rain. I think that might be a little bit excessive, but I do think it's important to keep your chain clean and lubricated, so you definitely want to do it as much as possible. So let's wash this bike and then we'll clean the chain. All right, so taking a look at the chain, you could tell that it's a little bit rusted and a little bit dirty, but hopefully the chain cleaner will clean most of that up. Before I start cleaning the chain, the first thing I like to do is take an eight millimeter socket and take off the chain guard. And I have an extension on this because there's another eight millimeter bolt um, behind the passenger foot peg and it's a little bit hard to get to. And with those two bolts removed, you can simply pull off the chain guard Okay, so there's a couple different ways you can go about cleaning your chain. Um, the easiest way, in my opinion, is to get some sort of stand or roller, which will allow you to spin the back tire freely and clean the chain without having to roll the bike around. If your bike has a skid plate, you can also use some sort of car jack and jack the bike up that way. That's the way I used to do it because I really don't like rolling the bike around. It takes forever to clean the chain. But recently I picked up this G-Roller from Grand Pit Stop. It's in one of my previous videos and I'll make sure to link it down below. But basically this allows me to roll the bike right onto this and then use these rollers and spin the rear tire freely. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this method right here. Any method should do the trick, but this does save a little bit of time. And as you can tell, that was really easy, and now I can spin the wheel freely. So I'm gonna be using this chain cleaning brush right here. You can pick this up at most motorsports stores or on Amazon. Okay, so the chain cleaner I'm gonna be using is the Maxima Cleanup Chain Cleaner, and I'm also gonna be using a piece of cardboard to stick behind the chain, so I uh, limit the overspray that gets on the wheel. So I just go all the way around, make sure you uh, clean it really well. And I just grabbed one of my other bottles because that one was running a little bit low. And once you get all the way around the chain, just let it sit for a minute or two and it'll really start to break up the grime and uh, all the crud that's gotten in there. All right, and after a couple of minutes of letting the chain sit, I'm gonna take my brush and just scrub the chain down really, really well. And it might be a good idea to put on some safety glasses when doing this because when you're scrubbing like this, some stuff can uh, come back and shoot you in the face and the eyes and uh, it might not feel too good. And I know my chain is pretty loose and I plan on doing a chain adjusting video in the uh, near future. But beforehand, I wanted to make sure the chain was nice and clean before I went ahead and adjusted it. And make sure to scrub all the sides of the chain, uh, not just the top and the outsides, but you also wanna make sure you get over here where the chain is gonna meet the sprocket. All right, and so now that you've finished cleaning your chain, go ahead and take a hose and just rinse off the chain really, really well. And now that you've rinsed your chain, it's a good idea to take a rag and just clean it off a little bit more, clean up your sprocket, and uh, also dry the chain off. All right, so now that the chain is looking pretty good, I'm gonna take the bike for a quick spin around the block. My lubricant recommends that the chain is a little bit warm before you apply the lubricant. So I'm gonna take it for a quick spin or two around the block and then I'll be right back. Okay, so with the chain a little bit warmer, it's time to apply the lubricant. And using the same method, I'm just gonna put a piece of cardboard and spray on the lubricant. All right, so I just finished applying the lubricant. I'm gonna take a little rag and just wipe down the excess. 
and it's okay to have too much lubricant. Um, you know, obviously you don't want insane amounts, but a little bit extra should not be any issue whatsoever. Okay, so after wiping down the lubricant, uh, the chain looks good, the sprocket looks good. So I'm gonna go ahead and reassemble the chain guard just by pushing it back down into place and just put back the eight millimeter bolts that you took out earlier. You don't wanna go too crazy. This is just fastening uh, the plastic to the metal. And one thing I forgot to mention earlier is the chain lubricant that I use. This is just stuff from Bellray and it seems to work pretty good. All right, so that's basically how I clean my chain on the T-dubs. If you guys like this video, definitely make sure you subscribe and hit the like button. And as always, I'll see you in the next one and ride safe.